How about them apples? Bitch! Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. My name is Gemselex, and today we are going to be doing some more solving and some more questioning. Now today we have a tobacco a tobacco pouch. Last time we got this from doing a very confusing puzzle. And she's mad at us. So, something I've noticed so far about this game is that it constantly wants me to revisit places that I've already been to and reinvestigating and we and relooking at stuff to find something different. So that's something that I really try my best to do. So anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Scotland Yard. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are back at the Scotland Yard. Now I do have an idea of what we should be doing and I think we have to go in here and do and use this because these are the suspects belongings. If we use this once the again. Oh no, I can't use it. I was going to try to use it with the um what did we find? The uh tobacco pouch and see if it related to one of those initials. But I think instead we're going to go and see if we could talk to one of these people. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. Peter Carey was fully dressed. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. Oh, we got a little bit more of information after figuring that out. This would go with swift actions and that would create yet another thing. Okay. Test experiment required. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by, by fully piercing a body. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. Prepare for harpoon throwing experiment. Okay, guys. See, this is exactly what I was saying earlier. You really have to go deep into this to find out what you have to do next. Peter Carey, what? Now he's finally in my what? Now he's in my portraits. Why didn't? Why wasn't he in my portraits before? Anyways, Peter Carey was born in 1845 and was 50 years of age. He was during a successful seal and whale hunter. He proclaimed the whale sea unicorn of Durin for many successful missions. Before he retired and traveled for some years, for the remaining six years of his life, he lived at Woodman's Lee. Okay, I thought I got a complete analyze of him, but apparently I didn't investigate the harpoon that he got stabbed with. So, taking a look here, experiment required. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible, but if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wow. <laughs> Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Okay, so we have a plan. And our plan is to... Let's see. Oh, we have a new area we can go to as well. So we can now go to Whitechapel Butcher. So, I guess we should get going there right now. So, I'll see you guys there. I need to take a harpoon with me. Oh, excuse me. Let me go back to freaking Woodman's Lee to go do that. I mean, we could have just took it before we went over here. But no, we're going to go all the way back and look at this cutscene for a good uh, 20 seconds. And just, uh, you know, just wait. You know, this... Another question I have is why would a pig be a good s substitute for this? Like, why wouldn't we just use a human? Like, 
Like not use an alive human, but like use a dead one as an experiment. Now, give me these. Oh, did I mean to skip that? Okay, now can we go to the White Chapel? Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> Look, he has the he has the harpoon right next to him. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise, yet. Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Okay, so we're going to throw a harpoon at a pig. So, can I throw it at him? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try this. I'm going to hold breath, and we're going to wait for it. It's possible that he could have... It's possible that the murderer could have simply just stabbed him in the chest. Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is what my life was like in school, or not even in school, in sports with general. I'm not. The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce it straight through. All right, then let me try again. One, two, three. Nice. Is that good enough? I didn't even hit the X. <laughs> uh, I'm always half shitting. This half is the best what? possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance of a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. Okay. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Prepare for the harpoon throwing experiment completed. Okay. Oh, oh God. Oh, jeez. I did not even hit the X. All right. I missed like so badly. What? Ooh, a bunch of cool stuff. Is there anything in here that we can look at? No. Okay. Then I guess see here I guess we should go back to the Scotland Yard I completely no actually I'm gonna go back to bake the Baker Street I completely missed what he said he said something about whatever let's go back to Baker Street okay guys we're gonna go ahead and put strength requirement and pin to the wall together all right let's see here what's this it requires a much greater strength than that of the average men to be able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon all the way through to the wall a degree of skill would most likely be necessary. The two men in uh, co in co uh, co cooperation might achieve the same result. Lucky throw. There's a remote possibility that an unskilled and untrained man can manage to pin Peter Carey to the wall with a harpoon. I think it's going to be feat of strength because there's no way that um someone could do that. Like It's just it's very strong. What if I did the other choice? I'm just going to play around with it. Lucky throw. Oh, what is this? Hurley is guilty? I can't I change it? See, but that's not what I want, though. I don't want him to be guilt guilty because I... Oh, wait a minute. What am I talking about? Why did I think... Why did I... Why did I think that said innocent? Yes, this is what I want. Hurley is guilty because we know it's him. I don't know why I thought that, um, that said innocent. I'm not thinking straight, guys. This is actually quite interesting. I'm enjoying this. Besides the fact that I have to keep looking closely at stuff to make sure that I get everything. Something I'm going to have to get better at with playing when I'm playing this game. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Okay, let's see here. Looking at these names. Which, oh, this one. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is this this 
Oh, sorry, guys. I keep freaking freaking pressing the A button too fast. So we looked at Pratchett's Higgins, name. Could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairn. Sometime later. <laughs> yeah, that's we the person. Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Find the crew of the Sea, sea Unicorn complete. All right, cool. Oh, that place is no longer on the map. All right, just taking a look here. Let's take a look at the the, the um stuff here. Patrick turns. Pat Patrick Carnes, a whom a harpooner from the Sea Unicorn, lives nearby in a cheap room in the suburbs. He can regularly be found in the Sea Witch. Oh, another conclusion. What's this? This is so interesting. If the pouch belongs to Patrick Cairns, it indicates his presence at the crime scene, but it must still be proven. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Okay then, I guess it's time to change our outfit. Let's us- oh, wrong room. This is the wrong room. The other room I meant to go into is this room right here. And... this. Do I have a sailor suit? I don't remember having a sailor suit. I think I do. Oh, what do you know? I have one. That what? This is what they wear? Okay. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Okay, let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, let's go to the Sea Wench Pub. Pub. Meh. I am really digging this game. Like, I'm really interested to see what's going on with this. Okay, so we're now we're going there. We changed our outfits. Our outfit to a sailor outfit. I would have expected a different kind of outfit. Ooh. Wow. Can we talk to some of these people? Mm, I don't know. Nope. You look dead. Where is this guy I'm looking for? Is it you? I have no idea. It's this guy. Let's talk to him. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. Wow, I like Sherlock. <laughs> Holmes, he's really clever, this guy. Alright. So, follow since the switch to understand his moves. Push and restrain idle and playing your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. Alright. Push for ah. <laughs> press A to push, hold to restrain. A to push. Honestly, do you think I can win a, a arm wrestle in real life? I can't even run it in a video game. Like, let's be real about this. Can you stop? You are. Oh, I had to press the button. I thought you had to hold it. Oh, I see. I get it now. Yeah, he's probably going to beat my ass. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, he got me. <laughs> he was like, fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? Let's continue. I'm not I'm done. To try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Listen, I may not be able to arm wrestle in real life, but I can do it in a video game. I'm sure I can. All right. Here we go. can probably hear the the but the pushing of my buttons. I can't press that button. How do I do this? <laughs> it's not even going. What? Dude, I can't beat this guy. I don't understand how this works. Like I'm pressing the A button. Oh, do I have to do it like li lightly little? Oh, I see. 
You have to do it lightly. I just want to break his damn hand, really. Come on, Sherlock. You got this. Hold to restrain. Oh, okay. You got to hold it. Excuse me. I'm not reading properly. Hold it. But that also uses stamina. So you have to have like let it charge up a little bit. I kind of understand what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to look at his face. You have to look at his face, and depending on what his face looks like, kind of tells you where he's at in terms of sp in terms and in terms of spam stamina. Can you stop, you freaking bastard? Come on, I just gotta wait for it to go up a little bit. Like his face kind of lets me know that he's not able to go on much longer. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a heart attack if I keep this up. How about them apples? Bitch! Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. What? Alright, one more time. I'm ready to try again. Why is he talking like that? Fine. If you want me to take all your Why are we doing this anyways? We'll do it one more time, I'll Probably I'll just cut this out guys. So pretty much you just want to pay attention to what his facial expression says and that kind of gives you an idea of what you should do. And we beat him again. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your 10 shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. No job? Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. Hmm, harpooner. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. Hmm. Sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Okay, before we actually go on with this, I want to actually get a quick examination of him. So we see he's got a gold earring. Let's keep going. Because I want to I wanna do this before anything. Cheap clothes. Strong hands. He's got some really strong hands, this guy. Yellow nails. Anything else? And a tattoo. Sailor's tattoo. Okay, so we got a little bit of information on this guy. Character portrait complete. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, a violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. He was a tyrant, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Let's have another drink, my friends. And let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her. And he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered. And they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. Who was he? And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage 
It's just a tin box. Okay. That's strange enough. Oh, even stranger was that on the second night he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. Oh. Nobody could ask Black Peter about it. I get it now. I understand. So guys, I finally understand what's going on here. You know, don't you? I know what's you going know on. What happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. I those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. Alright? Of course. Plant plant pouch go to toilet. Okay. Be back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at that character portrait. So this is Patrick Carney's is an experienced harpooner currently facing unemployment and poverty. He can be found at most often in the sea. Which a public housing popular by sailors whom he arm wrestles for money. Like many of his kind, he's heavy smoker indicated by his yellow fingernails. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do we have for evidence? Peter Carey was trying to conceal the murder of John Nelglin's father. Oh, okay. And what's this? This is just like the task. Okay. Let's go to the bathroom. Determine the owner of the pouch. Completed. Okay. Do we have any, uh, hmm. Do you have any clues, Patrick? Okay. Yeah, I'm still looking for clues. I'm actually just going to look around really quickly and see if we can find anything. Carney's jacket. Oh, how smart of me. I'm going to put, I'm going to frame his ass. Here it is. Is that so we can frame him? I'm just going to look around really quick, guys, and see if there's anything else here. Because I don't want to miss anything. There are things that um I tend to miss, as you notice. So is that my way to bust his ass so that we could take him in? Because I'm pretty sure he's the uh, the uh, murderer. Tobacco? Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, um, oh, it is. Oh, what a coincidence. Hmm, so, hmm, keep in touch. Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab is his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I... I'm done here. It's time to leave. So we found out who the owner of the pouch is, and that includes that he has definitely been in where Black Peter has been. He's definitely been in there. So let's put those two together, and we now have another lead. Kearney has confirmed that he that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder, thus proves his guilt. Carnes has confirmed that he the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder, but does not necessarily prove that he is the murderer. I don't know, dude. I think he... Let me try this one. No, that definitely cuts it off. Let's try this. I'm just going to like move some stuff around. Pouch proves visit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm just give me a second guys. I'm just playing around with this until we get a um See it turns red does that mean that's not the right answer Pouch proves visit, but that doesn't mean he's a murderer. Yeah And then this one's saying lucky throw But there's no way that it could be Hurtley I don't think it could be him. Wait, do we have more clues? You have found and utilized all clues in the case. Please proceed to deduction space and form your conclusion. 
Oh, jeez. Now I have to... Oh, I have to form my conclusion. Oh, Jesus. All right, guys. I'm going to go back to the Baker Street. And we're going to think about this. So give me one moment. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So next time in Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments, we are going to continue this investigation and make a conclusion on who we think the murderer is. I'm going to go ahead and think long and hard about this. And in the next episode, we're going to go through all of our clues and we're going to put it all, all together and we will figure it out. But for now, I'm going to think about that, but we'll save this for the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to become a gem and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. I am not done talking to you, John. This is not over. Hmm, breaking. Tell me, Mr. Milligan.